This is a demonstration of the computerized pyrometry technique. We are from the Department of Physiology, Chetnad Hospital and Research Institute. I am Dr. Rajam Krishna, Dr. Brinda, and Dr. Rafi. Now I am going to demonstrate the flow volume loop. For the flow volume loop, subject has to be instructed to take a maximum inspiration, hold the breath, and then blow through this spirometer, blow through this mouthpiece, and the expiration has to be complete. As quick as possible, you will have to expire through the mouthpiece. And then following the expiration, inspiration has to be done through the mouthpiece without any break. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So shall we proceed? So yes. let's do three trials. The first trial, let's start now. Yes. yes. Take a deep inspiration. Hold. So from this total lung capacity, you, the subject has to breathe through this mouthpiece. Quick. It has to be quick. Yes. 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 Do the inspiration. Yes. Yes. So this is the for flow volume loop which has been obtained, what you see in the graph, by convention, expiration is on the uh, upper axis and then inspiration is the downward graph what you see. So what, well, let's do the next trial. Is the subject ready for the next trial? Yes. So shall we start? Yes. So you will have to take a deep inspiration first, hold your breath. Yes, blow through the mouthpiece. It has to be quick. Yes, expiration has to be quick and complete. Yes, now inspire through the mouthpiece. Yes. So this is the second trial. What we have done. You can do three trials and the best of the three can be taken. And after that, the report they can be generated. So this is the report what you see. So from the report, these are the values which can be interpreted. The first vital uh, the first uh, first vital capacity can be interpreted. So the first vital capacity is 3.68. So that is the maximum volume of air which can be, which, uh, which has been expired during this maneuver. And then the first expiratory volume in one second and the ratio and, and the average mid-maximal flow can also be interpreted using this. And you can see the peak expiratory flow. So it can also be seen in the graph, the peak expiratory flow. So that is the peak flow or the highest flow which is obtained during the maneuver. That is the peak expiratory flow. And that occurs during the first 20% of the uh, FVC when that is expired itself. The peak flow occurs in normal individuals. And then the peak inspiratory flow can also be obtained. Similarly, the peak inspiratory flow occurs midway between inspiration and expiration. So what you see here is the normal flow volume. Here. 